There he is, Governor Ron DeSantis, the Mussolini of Tallahassee, using a U.S. Navy war vessel as a visual prop just days after his disastrous launch, which spurned the fantastic hashtag, hashtag disaster. Now, Ron DeSantis has apparently learned that while running for president, it's a visual medium that matters. And so there he is standing, well-framed, looking good, about to answer a question. Now, generations of Americans have been raised being told something that we all know isn't true. And it's this, there's no stupid questions. There are, there's lots of stupid questions. And a great place to find them is on Fox and Friends. Let's watch one. But before we do, let's understand something about the question. It's premised on a delusion. And the delusion is this, is that all over the country, the American people are wondering, wondering, why, Ron? Why, Ron? Why? Why do you have to run now? Why can't you wait? Why can't you wait for Mr. Trump to get four more years? Republicans, most of the people that support you probably voted for President Trump twice. And the, the first comment I hear over and over again is why doesn't Ron DeSantis wait for President Trump's second term and then run? And what is your best answer to that? Why is right now the time for Ron DeSantis to run for president? Because the, everyone knows if I'm the nominee, I will beat Biden uh, and I will serve two terms and I will be able to uh, destroy leftism in this country and leave woke ideology on the dustbin of history. I'd legitimately like to know, who is it that he intends to smash? Is he going to arrest Bernie Sanders? Does he want to send AOC to a rehabilitation and re-education camp? What's he talking about? American politicians don't talk about this. Don't talk like this. These are the words of a thug. These are the words of an autocrat. These are the words of a dictator, and they should be taken seriously because he means it. There's something disordered about Ron DeSantis. He doesn't understand, apparently, the ideas and ideals of the country. And by the way, everybody knows that Ron DeSantis is going to beat Joe Biden and serve two terms. Let me set the record straight. Actually, nobody knows that. Like, literally nobody, as in anyone across America. When they look at Ron DeSantis, what they see is a hugely awkward autocrat wannabe who eats pudding with his fingers and wears these boots in public. Quite a thing, particularly if you're running to be commander in chief of the Earth's most powerful military. Now, the heart of what Ron DeSantis is saying is that he's going to smash the left. Well, let's take that apart. What does it mean? When he talks about woke ideology, what's he talking about? And who exactly is it that he's going to smash. Maybe he ought to consider a campaign flag. How about a clenched fist on a red flag to advance his commitment to smash his fellow Americans that may happen to disagree with him? When he talks about woke ideology and smashing the left, is he talking about Bob Iger, the Disney CEO that he launched his own personal quagmire against? Or is he talking about your wife? your husband, your kids, your grandkids. And by the way, after the left is smashed, where should these people go? To re-education camps? What is it that Ron DeSantis doesn't understand about the United States of America? Look at this man. He's running for the office that was occupied by Abraham Lincoln, a man who said with charity towards all and malice towards none, at the end of a civil war that killed the equivalent of eight and a half million people at the high end, according to today's population? What is he talking about? Nobody has run for president of the United States with a smaller, more constricted, hateful message, except for one person, the person that Ron DeSantis' campaign has collapsed against. Because the truth of the matter is, Republicans want the real thing, not the shadow, not Diet Trump. And that's Ron DeSantis' fundamental problem. What astounding hubris. Now, 
Ron DeSantis could go out and talk about a lot of things. What is he talking about when he says he's going to serve two terms? Are you kidding? Ron DeSantis has collapsed 40 points in the polls. Ron DeSantis has fallen. Let me be clear about something. This isn't how American politicians are supposed to talk. This is how thugs talk in banana republics. This is how dictators talk. We don't talk about smashing people we disagree with. Even if you don't like the left, in America, everybody has a constitutional right to speech, to freedom of association, to conscience, to travel. In America, we can do what we want. So long as doing what we want doesn't infringe on other people's rights. What is it that Ron DeSantis hates about the American idea and ideal? What is so disordered about his personality that every time there is disagreement, he seeks revenge? He seeks vengeance, even at the cost of billions of dollars and thousands of jobs for the state he swore an oath to lead and then abandoned for a presidential campaign that is failing to lead the MAGA empire. Ron DeSantis' campaign is going to be epic, as in an epic debacle for the ages. He will raise more money against lower vote results than any presidential candidate in American history. He's going to make Texas Senator Phil Graham look like Bill Clinton when it comes to politics by the time this is done. Let me just say this about Ron DeSantis and his wanting to smash and break and hurt. The job of the American president is to temporarily lead the American people and to make the union more perfect. The American president is not the head of a faction, is not the head of a mob, and is not the head of a gang, despite Donald Trump trying to convince us that he is. The American president is the leader of the mightiest experiment in all of human history. Ron DeSantis doesn't understand that. He's as unfit at a moral level at a character level, as any person has ever been, including Donald Trump, running for this office. He will fail. It'll be fun watching it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. Also, for more content just like this, please consider joining our Warning Premium community. You can find out more in the description below.